Multiple sclerosis interventions is a continuation of the multiple skull roses in the catacombs of Paris. There is no cure for MS. However, collaborative care is aimed at providing symptom relief and treating the disease process. The most helpful drugs to treat acute exacerbations of MS involve the use of corticosteroids, shown by the quarter on steroids. Usual treatment of MS includes the use of interferon beta drugs, illustrated as the Infinity Flare Gun and Betafish. Interferon beta drugs are immunomodulators used to modify disease progression and prevent relapse. A new approach to treating MS is the administration of dimethyl fumarate, shown by the diamond fireplace. This drug works by activating the NRF2 pathway, allowing cells to defend themselves against oxidative stress. Fingolimod, shown by the finger mob, decreases symptoms caused by multiple sclerosis by preventing lymphocytes from reaching the central nervous system and causing damage. For more active and aggressive forms of MS, IV mitoxantrone, shown by the mitten xylophone, or IV natalizumab, shown by the nature man, may be used. Patients should be encouraged to increase exercise, illustrated by the up arrow exercise treadmill. Exercise improves the daily functioning for patients with MS by decreasing spasticity, improving coordination, and retaining unaffected muscles. Lastly, patients should be able to identify triggers that lead to exacerbations of the disease and be instructed to avoid or minimize these. Examples include infection, trauma, immunization, stress, or a change in climate. Identify triggers is shown by the magnifying glass identifying the trigger. So let's review interventions for multiple sclerosis, or MS. There is no cure, but drug therapy can help with symptoms and recommended medications include corticosteroids, interferon beta, dimethyl fumarate, fingolimod, mitoxantrone, and natalizumab. Exercise can improve coordination and decrease muscle spasticity. Patients should also be able to identify personal triggers to help prevent exacerbations of the disease. In multiple sclerosis assessment, we saw how the multiple skull roses in the catacombs of Paris can be a dangerous place for unsuspecting tourists, where bad people lay traps in hopes to rob and hurt innocent people. But quarter on steroids has had enough. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. While you're there, check out our massive library of nervous system Picmonics. We have a huge selection of the content you need to remember. We've got it all, including the rest of the neuromuscular junction disorders, like multiple sclerosis, features and mechanisms, to symptoms and diagnosis, and more. You'll see how hundreds of thousands of students like yourself have saved time and had fun doing it. So you can lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and space repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores. Where bad people lay traps in hopes to rob and hurt innocent people. But quarter on steroids has had enough and begins destroying the skull roses with a strong iron fist. His partner, Betafish, aimed his infinity flare gun towards the bad guys that hide their loot away in a fireplace, making it a diamond fireplace. It was the finger mob, and fingering crime is their job. But not today. They see Beta's gun and they try to call for help.